In this video tutorial, we are going to try to recreate an image from an advert for Olsen Towers' The Smiler Ride. You can see the video for the original advert on YouTube. For our photo montage, we are going to use uh, the pop star Justin Bieber, who we can see from this image doesn't mind uh, a bit of Photoshop uh, retouching of his image to make him look a bit better. If you go to today's lesson, you will find that uh, we've supplied uh, an image from the Smiler and also a picture of Justin Bieber. So I'm going to start by having a look at this picture. And this is when Justin was uh, arrested. Uh, so he's in prison fatigues here. So I'm going to copy that image and then head over to Photoshop. Edit. Sorry, File, New. This should make the appropriate right size for our image. Click on OK. And then Edit, Paste should put that image onto our document. From here I'm going to follow some instructions I've created. And the aim is that we're going to create Justin sucking in some pink smoke as he enters the Smiler. So to start off, we're going to crop down and get rid of that uh, prison uniform. And then we're going to retouch and uh, see if we can improve on the appearance of the image. So the crop tool is one, two, three, four, five tools down in Photoshop. Looks like some brackets facing in opposite directions. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to drag a box around just the head section. And you can see here that I haven't quite got everything, so you can adjust that afterwards. Make sure you get all of the hair in. Make sure there's a little bit of space just below the chin as well. And when you're happy with the arrangement, you can then click on the tick. And that will crop out the parts of the image that we didn't want. I'm then going to zoom in on this, so I'm going to click on the magnifying tool. And then fit screen so that we have a good blown up version to work on. Next up I'm going to use the spot healing tool in order to uh, clear up any little imperfections in the image. So coming back here we have the spot healing tool which looks like a little plaster uh, healing parts of the image and you can see I have a circle here and the circle is big enough to cover up this little spot. If I click that spot there, then it samples the colours round about it and completely covers up that part of the image. So you can see here we have a little um, spot beside his uh, mouth. Click on that and then it's covered up. Now you can change the size of this spot using the uh, square brackets on your keyboard. So for example, I could make it big enough to cover his entire eye area here and then give it a click and it's then tried to put his teeth where his eye is. So obviously that's just uh, not really improving things, but just to show you how that works. I'm going to remove the little earring spot uh, in his ear here. So I'm going to use this square bracket opening to bring the spot size down, click over it and then cover that up. A little mole just beside his eye here, clicked and covered up. On his chin, clicked and covered up. And a little bit of acne here that we are going to remove just using the spot healing tool. So overall, uh, that tends to have uh, sorted most of the things out. Uh, you'll notice in the instructions that I've said, use the clone tool and cover up other flaws such as untidy eyebrows. So if I try to uh, tidy up this eyebrow here with the spot healing tool, uh, I don't always get the results I'm wanting. That wasn't too bad. Um, I'm actually going to zoom in here a little bit and just have a look and see anything else that needs tidying up. So the clone tool is a couple down from the spot healing tool. And what I can do there is I can set uh, a starting point and then change that over the area I want to improve. 
So I'm taking the size of the brush down there with the square brackets again. And I'm just going to take a little bit of uh, eyebrow here, use the Alt key. So hold down the Alt key to set a target and click. And then just a little click there and that fills in nicely. I'm going to go back here and then fit screen. I could tidy up some of his hair here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on the hair. I'm going to use the clone tool. I'm going to clone part of the background. So take up the size a little bit. Use the Alt key to set a target. And then just paint that over any of these bits that are sticking out too much. Okay, so next up, I'm going to use the liquify tool to change his smile into a smiler smile with really big wide eyes. So we're going to use filters liquify in order to change this. So I'm going to go to filter, liquify, and that takes me into a separate tool area, to its own dialogue here. And there are various different uh, tools that I can use here. So I'm going to, uh, first of all, zoom in a little bit just so I can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to go to the warp tool. Now what the warp tool does is it pulls parts of the image around. So if I just show you on uh, some part of the image here, I'm going to take it down quite small. And I can take this little bit of red uh, shoulder here and I can just pull it up like so. So I'm going to undo that. Okay, I can't quite undo that. Doesn't matter. I'm going to get rid of that later anyway. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush up to be quite big, about the size of his eye socket there. And I'm going to take this little uh, cheek smile here I'm going to take the corner of his mouth and lift it up. Now, I don't want to lift it too quickly. Otherwise, it will distort. But I'm going to take it and turn it into quite a pronounced smile. I'm just pulling gently out to give the shape of the mouth back there. Uh, but really, really pulling the corners of the mouth up into a grin. There we go. And then I'm also going to take the bloat tool and I'm going to maybe step up the size to be just about where his eyeballs are and his eyebrows. And I'm going to do a few clicks and you can see what the bloat tool is doing. It's like blowing up a balloon. So it's taking his eyeball and puffing it out around that point. And I want them to be about the same size, like so. Okay, uh, and I'm actually going to use the warp tool again and see if I can warp that back down a little bit. There we go, that's fine. So when I've done that, click on OK. And we now have... A face ready for the smiler. Okay, next up, I'm going to put some swirls over his eyes. So I'm going to use the custom brush tool and I'm going to choose a particular shape with that. And I'm going to put a star over one of his eyeballs and then apply some effects. So I'm going to use the custom tool brush here, and that might not be immediately obvious to you. Uh, at the bottom, just above this hand, we have a rectangle tool. And then when I hold that in, custom shape tool is available at the bottom. And then your shapes may well start with a, an arrow here. Uh, but what I'm going to use is this flower five, uh, which appears a little bit like a, a flower shape, I guess. 
Now, I want to have a yellow kind of swirl over his eyeballs, as if he's been hypnotized. So I'm going to start off and choose uh, a very bright yellow as the color here. Click on OK. And then I'm going to drag, and I think I can use the Alt key to drag. Oh. No, maybe not. Uh, so I'm just going to grab it from about uh, the corner of his eyeball down and over the rest of his eyeball like so. And I've accidentally picked up the wrong colour there, so let me just undo that. Go back to yellow. Okay, so I want to go from the corner of where his eyeball would be and down and cover up his eye like so. And I'm going to apply an effect to this, so FX and Stroke. And a stroke is going to give us a, a, a covering, a colour round about the shape like so. And I don't want it to be as strong as that black, I want something that matches his eye a bit more. So I'm going to go maybe a dark grey like so. It's probably a little bit better. And the size can just be maybe quite subtle, about one pixel. Is probably fine. Click OK. Okay, so what I'm going to do on this now is I'm going to turn this into a swirl shape. So I'm going to twirl the shape that I've created, but before I can twirl it, because it's a, a, a vector graphic, I need to turn it into some a bitmap. I need to turn it into dots on the uh, image first of all. So I'm going to go to uh, Rasterize Layer. And then highlight just the twirl part and apply a distort filter. So this layer here, I'm going to right click on it and choose rasterize layer. And that turns it from a smart shape just into uh, this twirl shape here. And then I'm going to use the selection tool and I'm going to highlight just that section there. And then I'm going to go to Filter and Distort and Twirl. And you'll see we get a preview of what's happening here. So if I zoom in on this, <coughs> excuse me, a twirl of 50 degrees is looking like that. I want something quite significantly more twirly. Uh, maybe about 300 degrees. The instruction said 360. Um, so yeah, in that neck of the woods there, that looks okay. It's maybe a little bit strong in the middle, but uh, we'll leave that for the moment because I'm not going to put it entirely over his eye. What I'm going to do is go to opacity here and then take down how strong it is. So the opacity is how transparent or see-through something is. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to take it down until it looks like it's part of his eyeball. Like so. About 50%. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, make a copy of the swirl and put it over his other eye. So back to the Move tool here, I'm going to take this, I'm going to hold the Alt key down, and the Alt key is then going to make a copy of that, and I'm going to move it over his other eyeball, like so. And then I can go to Select and Deselect, and I have his swirly eyes. And so that's it for um, Justin Bieber in a Smiler pose. And in the next tutorial, we'll have a look at how to then montage that with the uh, Smiler harness to make him look as if he's part of the scene.